In this video, we will learn how to expand volume of Redis cluster using KubeDB. So let's move on to my workstation. Here you can see I have already deployed a Redis cluster uh, and the version is 6.2.5 and status is ready. So uh, let's look at the storage class of this cluster. Here I have, uh, as you can see, I have two storage class. One is Linode block storage and another is Linode block storage retain. Here, uh, as you can see, allow volume expansion field is true. So there are some storage class which does not uh, allow volume expansion. So you cannot uh, use these ops request with those volume, uh, those storage classes. So as this is, uh, I am using Linode block storage and volume expansion, we can do volume expansion for this storage class. Now let's have a uh, look at the storage section of my uh, DB object. So as you can see, I have uh, here, I in the request section, the storage is 10 GB. So I have requested for uh, 10 GB storage and the storage class name is Linode block storage. So uh, what if you have run out of memory, you have more data, then you need to update your uh, storage. So let's apply ops request to expand the volume expand the storage and uh, here you can see the all the pvc i have uh, for each part there is one pvc and the capacity of those pvc is 10 gb so we want to expand this capacity so the ops request is created and it is in progressing state so let's have a look at the ops request dml and you can see these uh, Obstacles TML, the name is volume expansion radius and namespace is demo. And in the database reference, we refer to the database we want to update and volume expansion mode is online. And uh, total, uh, we want 12 GB storage for each of the pod. And uh, there can be another mode that is offline. So what happens in online mode, we directly update the PVC and uh, some of the storage class does not support this online expansion so for them we need to do offline expansion in offline expansion first we uh, delete the pod and uh, pvc is orphaned then we update the pvc then we recreate the pod and connect this uh, pod with the pvc uh, with the updated pvc so if your storage class does not support online expansion you can do offline volume expansion let's have a look at the cluster <clears throat> So as you can see, uh, our volume expansion of request is successful and database is ready and <clears throat> all the PVC's capacity is updated to 12 GB. So we have successfully updated the capacity of our uh, cluster of uh, we successfully updated the storage and in this way, you can expand volume. And <clears throat> with that, this is the last video of this series. So thank you for watching.